Tom Brady. There you go. There is your Tom Brady base. Uh, card number one in the set. There's your Tom Brady base for 2021. This might be our auto right here. Oof. Let's go. 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 Oh my God. Let's go. on YouTube run good here coming at you with a brand new video and I want to say happy Friday to everybody out there we have a very very fun rip today and I don't know by fun because this is a very very expensive box of Donruss this year isn't it I think we've all uh, seen a little bit of sticker shock on this one having it come out at four hundred and twenty five dollars on Panini's website and um, now up close to five hundred for Donruss really we're gonna do that this year um, so, I want to thank you for tuning in today. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate having you around. We are group breaking this weekend, both on Friday and Saturday. So, Friday's breaks are live on the website. And Saturday's breaks will be live at the conclusion of tonight's live stream. So, if you can come hang out with me, special one-off Friday stream. I will be on around 3.30 Pacific. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we do have some crazy, crazy breaks this weekend with Hitman Rips. My buddy Hitman's gone, so I'm taking his time slot. I'm keeping my time slot. We're going to have a lot of fun as we celebrate the return of football. Um, but today, let's talk about football a little bit because we have 2021 Donruss. New product just came out. Uh, we have not seen any retail configurations yet. Um, I would suspect we might see like a team all configuration at some point. Um, but this is the only configuration we have as of right now. This is a hobby box. And uh, it is a expensive hobby box. 18 packs per box, 10 cards per pack, so 180 cards total. One auto and one mem. The real chase this year is the addition of the Marvels set. Net Marvels is very, very popular in basketball. And the return of Downtowns. And I think night moves as well there are also optic previews in here um so looking on here uh yeah premium gridiron marvels and um inserts that are only hobby only so if you get the blasters in a few weeks uh they will not have the same inserts as this box as always we can hit press proof 101s and all of that all of that stuff uh i will uh in a few minutes i will not in a few couple minutes i'll take it off and show you guys everything I do want to talk about the price of this product really quick. So if we look at some of the previous prices for 2021 NFL, um, let's let's not talk about score um, because scores score. But Prestige H2 came out at around 125, 150 a box, and now the Mega boxes, which are the more popular configuration, they'll sell for 30 or 40 bucks on Target.com. They're reselling on eBay at 75 dollars. I think a lot of people have found value in what was originally intended to be kind of a junk low end set. And I think that Prestige has honestly replaced Donruss because Donruss is no longer a low-end set. We saw this with basketball, uh, them pricing out Donruss basketball really, really high. It since came down just like Prism NBA and just like some of the other NBA products. But we are starting to see that pattern of increasing in prices with football. Now, this rookie class is very good. Um, you know, we will see our first look at Fields and Mac Jones uh, and Trey Lance and Trevor Lawrence this weekend. Um, but this rookie class is very good. Last year's rookie class was very good as well. Um, but we didn't see a $400 plus Don Russ last year. We saw $150 Don Russ last year, which was crazy considering in 2019 it was like an $80 to $100 product. Um, so to over two years, we're up from $80 to $400 whatever 50 it is right now. From last year, we're up about 3x from $150 to you know, 450 or whatever it is now. Uh, let's talk about Certified. So when Certified came out a few weeks ago, that was a $330 product on Panini's website. So this one's selling for $100 more than Certified. And I think this is where things kind of get a little wacky um, because Certified is only going to be a 50 card box, but you do get two autographs. One of them is typically an RPA, a Rookie Patch Auto, one of the most desirable cards. We've ripped a lot of Certified uh, and we've hit a couple Justin Fields RPAs. And so when I was looking at the pricing for this, I saw the pre-order pricing at $350. And I, I thought, they're crazy. It's not, it's not going to be a $350 product. I was right. It wasn't a $350 product. It was a $425 product, according to Panini, who just a few weeks prior priced certified, which I believe is a slightly better product, at $100 cheaper. In the middle of those two, we also had Panini Black, which came out at, I want to say, $450 for five cards. Uh, that's a very high-risk, high-reward set. 
Um, doesn't really gel well with Don Russ and Certified. These are more, you get more cards, you have a more fun experience. Um, but when I saw that, I thought we might be in for a wild ride with pricing. And uh, sure enough, I was right. Black is now up over 500 bucks. I have a feeling Certified is going to be up over 500 next week, maybe even closer to 600. And I think this is going to touch 550 in some places. Um, we don't have too much football on the horizon. So between this Certified and Black, that is really it for the next uh, couple, three weeks, I think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I know I've talked a lot, but I do want to talk a lot about these prices because we are doing an Is It Worth It video today where we're going to open this box. We're going to see if it's worth it. We're going to try and figure out what the value is. My buddy Shy City Pools opened a box of this a couple days ago and then did a live stream auctioning off all of his cards. In the end, uh, he did make about 80% of his money back, if not more. If you want to go ahead and pause the video... Uh, that is everything we can hit, obviously, with Don Russ, it's press proofs and power formulas as inserts, uh, tons of numbered stuff. Rookies are going to be in their pro uniforms. Um, we're looking for some case hits. I'm, I'm wondering, I know Gridiron Marvels is here. I know, I wonder if Night Moves is here, and my eyes aren't very good, so I'm not going to be able to read this little text. Um, I, I assume they're going to keep Night Moves. So again, 18 packs, 10 cards per pack, one auto and one memorabilia. Herbert is going to be your cover boy. A little, little nervous about here, though. I mean, there are definitely some nerves when you're ripping a box of this expensive. Um, because historically, it's been Don Russ. It's been a low-end set. That's what we've known Don Russ as. And I guess uh, maybe Don Russ is going to be different. So uh, we will take a look at the design. We've got just a, a design that we saw in 2021 Panini Baseball. So this design is not super new. I do like the design. Um, paper cards, uh, thin cards. I like the design. Uh, the design's good. I like how the players pop out of kind of the design into the white space a little bit. Uh, so we have Jalen Rigor. I think, uh, what do we got? Antonio Gibson. Aaron Rodgers. I, I noticed this in Shy's video, in Shy City Pools, my homie Shy City Pools. Some of these cards are backwards, and I'm seeing a die cut right here as well. Uh, DK, and I think that's going to be an image variation. So Typically, there is a way to tell in an image variation. I could be wrong. Typically, there's a way to tell. Usually, they put a little football in the corner or something. I'm not seeing that on these, so maybe I'm just wrong. Um, but typically, you can tell an image variation. It's very interesting that there's backwards base cards in the pack, though. Uh, Nick Bolton. We have a rated rookie to 75. That is going to be Josh Palmer. Uh, press proof die cut. Um, not a big fan of die cut cards. I like some of the designs in select. Um, I might not be able to get this in. We'll do that later. Um, so Josh Palmer, five of 75, going to be our first numbered card of the box. Uh, we will set that there. I do like these, uh, these inserts right here. The legend series, great looking insert right there. That is going to be Troy Aikman. And I like this card too, for the PC, uh, go Hawks, Russell Wilson, taking home the sweet honors in 2020. Uh, that's an awesome looking card. Seahawks obviously going to get it done against the Colts, and I am going to get it done against Up North Collectors in our Fantasy Football League. Up North Collectors, another great channel here on YouTube if you are not familiar with them. Uh, we have Jalen Smith. Very interesting that we got two backwards cards in every pack. Uh, Pat Freyermuth. We will take that another rated rookie. And this is going to be an Imer Smith Marset. This is going to be a canvas rookie right here. Kind of has a canvas stock to it. It kind of has kind of kind of a canvas stock. I do like that they are in their pro uniforms and no combine photos this year. That's pretty awesome. Kellen Mond, the rookies. Great looking design on that one. And a throwback from 2001 going to be Phil Sims. So again, we are looking for one auto and uh, also one memorabilia in these boxes. Also, looking for those case hits. A downtown would be incredible. Obviously, we uh, hunted a ton of downtowns last year. In Optic, uh, Deontay Johnson right there. And they are always super sick. Joey B right there. Uh, it's interesting seeing players in their uh, in their masks. Very interesting. Uh, Quiddy Pay, the rookie. This is going to be a no-name variation. Uh, this is going to be Jonathan Taylor. Second year Taylor. No name down there. Uh, we have a Dalvin Cook on the Elite Series. Retro Series. Terry Bradshaw. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I am interested to hear what you think of the price of this product. 
if you think it's worth it, if you're going to be holding out for retail, if you plan to open any hobby, if you expect maybe hobby to go down. Because um, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this this really, really high price tag on this product. Uh, James Conner. Baker Mayfield, our rookie, is going to be Larry Roundtree. So they are a little stingy on rookies. Uh, we have another rated rookie, Alex Leatherwood. That is going to be a non-numbered red. As I drop cards, of course. Uh, thankfully, all I dropped was a Joe Montana and a Dominators of Julio Jones. Dominators, a returning set in every Don Russ, it seems like. Um, so we'll keep it on rolling. We are looking for one of those great Iron Marvels uh, or a great rookie auto to kind of save the box and maybe recoup some of that value. Uh, Waller, Michael Vick, Mike Wallace. We've got Marcus May. Barry Sanders, our rated rookie. That's going to be a good one right there. Our rated rookie. Oh, we I think we have a back-to-back. -back. Uh, now, that's going to be Kyle Trask. I thought we had a back-to-back -back Trey Lance right there. Um, but, hey, that is going to be our first good rookie of the box, Trey Lance, right there on the rated rookie. That's going to be his true rookie card. Um, so, we will definitely take that. Uh, we also have Kyle Trask, and I like the look of this card. This, again... Kind of, mm, not really, eh, kind of on a canvas. That is going to be Gridiron Kings, Gridiron Rookies, Kyle Trask. Rookie Gridiron Kings, that's what I was looking for right there. So I cannot wait to see what the Lawrence looks like in that set. Um, and uh, some of the other better names. Power Formula is going to be Michael Thomas and Jerry Judy on the highlights. All right, one third of the box down. We still have not seen either of our two hits yet. George Kittle, Miles Garrett, Kyler, Michael Pittman Jr., Denzel Mims. I think we have a numbered card coming up. I see some purple over here. Elijah Mitchell. Uh, that is going to be a Christian Barmore. Uh, 320 of 500. Uh, that is going to be a, I think these are like season stat line. Eight sacks in 2020, so a season stat line. Uh, all action, all pros. Going to be Jason Sanders. And a throwback of Warren Sapp. This pack feels very thick, so this does feel like our relic. Hopefully we have a nice chunky patch and not a, a paper napkin in here. Uh, Dallas Godert. Uh, we've got Terry McLaurin. David Johnson. Uh, Daniel Sorensen. Chase Young, Rondell Moore, uh, Jersey Kings, uh, going to be Nick Bosa, and that is going to be 45 of 349 Bosa. I like the look of that card. Obviously, when you see a 49ers, you want to Trey Lance, but hey, I do like it. It's kind of funny how, comical, uh, how comically thick these are. I think they're like 130 points. Um, but it's a cool looking card. I like the uh, I like the pop art kind of style to it. We'll take it. A couple uh, we've already hit a Lance rookie, so Devonta Smith right there. Uh, we have an Elite Series rookies and Retro Series of oh that's a nice Michael Carter actually and Paul Krause. For some reason my mind went to Denzel Mims. I've still got some 2020 rookies on my mind. So we have our mem already. Now we are looking for our auto. Our mem came in the middle of the box. Uh, middle of the box. I think that was our first pack. Middle of the box. Uh, Drew Brees, Tyler Boyd, Dak, Jalen Hurts. Rookie is going to be Joseph Asai. Kind of stingy on rookies. Chase Young, Press Proof Red. There we go. That's why we open these boxes. That is going to be the rookies. Trevor Lawrence. Sharp looking card right there. That is the second uh, big rookie that we found. Not big rookie, but hey, second base rookie. Insert rookie to go along with our base Lance. Looking good. I like the look of this card. Um, so we will definitely take that. Kind of, kind of gels with some of the designs I use with that black background and got some pink and orange on there. I like it. Antonio Gates on the retro. Jordan Poyer, uh, Devin McCourty, Jerome Baker, Robbie Anderson, Mark Brunel, Drew Brees, 
seeing some gold in here and that's gonna be let's just go right to it studio of chuba hubbard uh and that's gonna be 31 of 100 so chuba kind of have a close-up on the studio series but good looking card we'll see if uh how he does as i think he's a backup to cmc and i think they're kind of light kind of light light on the depth chart at running back if i remember correctly uh legend series kurt warner that is pretty cool the champ is here antonio brown i cannot wait to see what a tom brady looks like champ is here is a popular insert set cool looking card you got kind of the belt uh last year they almost had a wwe-esque belt which was awesome for us wrestling fans uh, that was a great looking design. Justin Tucker, Randy Moss. A lot of throwback names. James Robinson. Saquon. What do you guys think about Saquon this year? Uh, Brevin Jordan. To a tag of Iloa. That is going to be a press proof to 100. So, Tua to 100. Second year, DJ Chark, and a, another, a lot of retros, and that's going to be Jim Kelly. Yeah, a lot of throwback names in here. Sean Alexander, we have Drew Locke. Uh, Marquez Valding Scantling. Tom Brady, there you go, there is your Tom Brady base. Uh, card number one in the set, there's your Tom Brady base for 2021. This might be our auto right here. Oof. Let's go. 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 Oh my god, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No way. No way. No way. 5 of 5 Tom Brady auto. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Um, oh boy, this just ruined the video entirely. It is worth it. Tom Brady, five of five. My heart is pounding right now. My heart is pounding right now. I expected that to be a numbered Brady. I was so happy just to see a numbered Brady. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's a monster. <laughs> what? What? Um, yeah, this ruins the video because this is an is it worth it video and, uh, Oh my God, I'm shaking. Obviously, it's worth it. That is my first Tom Brady auto that I've ever pulled. That is a Highlights Tom Brady. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I am literally shaking right now. Like, my heart is pounding right now. That is incredible. That is not... You expect to pull, you know... you With one auto per box, you expect to pull a rookie. Usually, it's a mid or a low tier rookie. It's always hard to hit a top rookie and... Holy cow, you do not expect to pull a Tom Brady 5 of 5. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a monster. I don't even want to... I don't want to open any more packs. Um, holy cow. Tom Brady 5 of 5. Uh, TB12. I, I talked about it in yesterday's video. I love watching history. I love watching what TB12 is doing. Holy sh! Holy cow! Oh my god! Five of five. No way! No way! No way! <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. This ruins the video. It's obviously my box is obviously worth it, but I don't think that this is a very typical experience. This is. I'm sitting here. This is actually a incredible experience. Um. Because I've pulled a lot of cool autos in my life. Um, but I've never pulled a Tom Brady. I pulled a couple Justin Herberts from last year's from Optic. I've never pulled a Tom Brady auto. And uh, that's that's amazing. That is truly amazing. Okay. We do have to finish the rest of the box. I will set that there. How are we going to get through the rest of this box? Uh, Gridiron Kings, Jalen Hurts. How are we going to get through the rest of this box? James Harrison Elite Series. And a Hopkins. How am I going to get through the rest of this box? My heart is pounding right now. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see if we can finish. Jimmy G, Odell Beckham. 
Wow. AJ Green, Jonathan Taylor, Brett Favre. Wow. I'm just I'm just saying words at this point. Randy Moss, Ajilari is going to be the rookie. Jeff Okuda is going to be our press proof red. Terrace Marshall Jr. And Jerome Bettis the Bus is going to be our retro. Another nice uh, rookie series, though. I like these rookies on this foil board. This is a sharp-looking card. I hope that these... I can't even sleeve this card. I hope that they have these cards in retail, uh, and I hope that you guys can chase some of them in those sweet, sweet $20 or $30 blasters uh, that we should see pretty soon. All right, final one-third of the box. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. It's like, what are you looking for at this point? Uh, Travis Fulgham, Allen Robinson, Ryan Kerrigan, Tyreek Hill, Lamar Jackson, Nico Collins, rated rookie. That is going to be, I believe, Terrace Marshall Jr. Again, no name on that one. Uh, Tommy Tremble, excuse me. Uh, Tommy Tremble, that is going to be a no name variation. So excuse me on the incorrect player. I don't typically watch too many Carolina games, although I might tune in to see if Sam Darnold is going to vanquish his old team. Uh, we have a Diami Brown on the Elite Series Rookies. A retro series of Troy Aikman. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It is uh, it is tough sitting here uh, and not trying to just scream my... my oh, my gosh. Uh, Jameis Winston, T. Higgins, Minka Fitzpatrick... Devonte Adams. Rookie is going to be Jamin Davis. Uh, retro, or sorry, that is going to be a season highlights of uh, Trevon Morig, and that's going to be for the Las Vegas Raiders, who I have in an upset on Monday night over Baltimore, even though that one's team color. That one's going to be numbered to 500. And uh, Jared Goff dominators, and I am worried about Jared Goff this year uh, in my division with my Seahawks. Or sorry, sorry, no, I'm thinking of Stafford. I can't even think. I'm not scared of Goff. I'm scared of Stafford. Uh, and I'm scared of, holy cow, that is a monster right there. And I'm wondering if this is a night moves down here. James White, Lamar Jackson, Dan, uh, Dan Marino, Jeremy Chin, TJ Watt, Odell Beckham. This is a good case study right here, uh, examining how somebody reacts after they pull one of the biggest cards of their life. Kylan Hill, Pat Freyermuth on the rated rookie canvas. We'll see if this might just be a power formulas. Yeah, power formulas, and that's going to be for the PC right there. DK Metcalf. Inducted, we have Peyton Manning. I'm not sure if these are rarer or not. Um, I think Shy pulled this one too. I'm not sure if that is a rarer insert or not. I do know that the power formulas typically aren't too rare. Um, that's definitely going to be for the PC, and... Uh, Oh boy, like, what do you even do with a Tom Brady number to five sitting there? What do you even do? Uh, Pat Freyermuth as well on the canvas. Or that's going to be the portrait. That's cool. Look at on the back of that one really quick. I love that design. Uh, portrait right there. So it indicates that it is a variation. Also, the canvas stock would indicate the variation as well. Oh boy. Okay, we're down to three packs left. And I want to thank you for tuning in today. I know it's a longer video. Obviously, it was worth your time. Um, but let's see if we have anything left in this box. And I'm not trying to be greedy if there's nothing left in this box. Uh, and if there's nothing left in my next 10 boxes, I think I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, we have Keeling Cole, John Elway. Our rookie is going to be Justin Fields because, of course, we're going to keep on stacking up the rookie QBs. Justin Fields rated rookie right there to go along with our Trevor Lawrence rookies and our Trey Lance, a base rookie as well. So we now have three of the five top QBs and we have arguably the greatest QB as well. Holy cow. Uh, we have Marcus Peters, Bobby Wagner, another PC card for me right there. Bobby Wagner on the action all pros and Brian Erlacher. Two packs left. Are you guys going to come out, come and hang out with me tonight in the live stream? Man, it's going to be a party. I'm going to give so much stuff away uh, just to show my, my appreciation to everybody who watches this video, everybody who is in my community. Uh, this is this is going to be one for the ages. Uh, Derwin James, Christian Kirk, Jamison Crowder. Oh, of course, we have another Tom Brady. Uh, Frank Darby, Tom Brady, this is going to be a career touchdown passes. They've been probably, they're probably going to be scattering these into 
quite a few sets. Um, they were in score. So I think now they're probably going to be in this as well. Rondell Moore on the Gridiron Series Rookies. Uh, we have a Elite Series, and that is going to be Vinny Testaverde. And hey, it's this guy again, Tom Brady on Road to the Super Bowl. I think we just won the Super Bowl. And I think Tom Brady's probably going to repeat as well. Um, so we're seeing all kinds of Brady's in this box. This has been a this has been an awesome box. This is this is one for the ages. All right, final pack here. I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for. Uh, oh boy, I'm I'm very warm right now. I'm very. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Kareem Hunt, Miles Sanders, Darius Leonard, Patty Mahomes, base again. We're rocking the mask. Uh, we've got Michael Gallup. We have Ian Book on the rated rookie. Uh, we have Eric Stokes, press proof to ten. As if this box wasn't good enough, uh, we are going to add Eric Stokes from the Packers, 9 of 10. 9 of 10, Stokes, press proof black. This has been a box right here. Uh, we've got Javonta Williams on the rookies, and we're going to end with another uh, Bronco, and that's going to be John Elway. Overall, though, I mean... If you, oh, I, I mean, I can't say anything because I, I mean, my experience is very untypical. Uh, that is, that's insane right there. Tom Brady, five of five. That is what dreams are made of. Brady eats up the Lions defense for four scores by halftime on the highlights. Uh, highlights number 16 in the set. Autograph is guaranteed. It is a sticker auto. It's one of the best cards I've ever pulled. Uh, and I've pulled a lot of cool cards for people in the group breaks. I've pulled the Zion 101 for myself and a bunch of other cool stuff. This might be one of the coolest cards I've ever pulled. Um, to go along with that, we have the Eric Stokes to 10. We have the Freyer Muth Canvas Rookie Variation, the Inducted Peyton Manning. Uh, the Justin Fields Rated Rookie, the Chuba to 100. The Rookies T-Law and also the Trey Lance. This one went very long. I apologize for that. Um, obviously, it was worth your time, and um, this box, obviously worth it. Um, maybe we'll have to open another box in the coming weeks uh, and see if another box will be worth it. That is going to do it for me. I would hope, I, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and uh, we'll see you tonight and tomorrow night in the live streams going live at 3.30 p.m. Pacific on both nights. So I will catch you in just a few hours. Have a good one.